Hi everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. I hope that you had a wonderful week. We are back at Swimmed in the Rise and it's our season finale. We had an awesome awesome time on Swimmed in the Rise and today we have Prophet JJ. I'm taking over his program, guys. <laughs> She's taking yes, over my program it's mine today. Now today. I'm taking it from now. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. How are you? Send us some comments and saying how your Friday is doing. How have you been coping with level three of lockdown? And how the winter has been taking us so so bad here in the West Coast. It's been cold for these couple of few days. But let us know. Drop us a comment. Drop us a like. Drop us a love button. Share this broadcast. And we're just gonna flow today. We're gonna speak about what has been happening in our country, in our world. We're gonna be speaking about what happened at during the Remnant Arise Fridays and who was on here, the guests, and all of those. Prophet. And we're gonna speak about the the, the way forward. But before that, hello everybody. My name is Prophet JJ. You asked if you don't know. And now you know. And uh. and, and now you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking over this program. Thank you for connecting with us today. We are we love you so much. We have reached the end of this season. The season one. of remnant arise. So, so yeah. So thank you for connecting with us. And uh, uh, Ibri is going to be the host today. Ibri is your host. I'm not the host today. He wants to. He's in the hot seat. He's in the hot yeah. seat today. So who's watching? Um. Yeah. Let's let's check. Let's check. Let's check. It's Shig. Hello, Chantal. Um, Pastor Yu. Hello. Hey, my brother. The postman of the book. Chandre. Um, who else? I saw Pastor Angela was watching. Early. Wow. Lundy was guys. on. Before we go, okay. Remind me, I need to promote something. Okay, we need to promote something. You see, it's my show now. It's taking it over. <laughs> um, let's let's just go forward, Prophet. So the show is called. Remnant the rise. First no of all, sound. please. They say there's no sound. No sound. Can you hear us now? Yeah, give us a like button. Give us a love button. Can you hear us? Is there any sound? Is there sound? Is there any? Of Shandra, you can't your phone, but no, you need to be able to speak. Is there any sound now? Just, just check on 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 your devices if you can hear us. Yeah. Let let us, let us maybe, know. maybe in order for them to hear the sound, we need to talk. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> just, just let us know. This is any... our sound, you. <laughs> Chandra, tell us if there's any sound. Yes. I also want to welcome. Ons <laughs> Ons Um, I want to say hi to Anthony Corky. Good day, hi, good day. Anthony. He said good day, Prophet. How are you doing, Anthony? And Pastor, you didn't say Ons Wer. Daar kom Chandra nou dier. Chandra, your phone was here. <laughs> Your phone, Jim, your Anna for Chase Cooper Chandra and a phone as a blame. This not as my viewers, it's my main says my spiritual me. Hey, so what I want to so, say, guys, please share, 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 share. That's the, the best way to evangelize, that's the best way to let people understand what we are doing, how we are helping social media through the word of God and spreading the word of God. Yes. But let's just jump into it, Prophet. All right, tell us. Who you are? I am, like I said in, uh, earlier this week, I was doing a, a program with, with my brother, Dr. Teach, Tanya Niwa, and uh, he asked me the same question, Avery. He asked me, Who am I? And this is what I said to him I'm a son, I'm a father, I'm a friend, and a brother. I'm a brother and a brother, 
I, that's who I am. I don't want to be known as anything else. I want to be known as a spiritual son and a biological son to my spiritual and my biological father. I want to know be known as a father to my children and a, and a husband and a lover Yay! to my to my wife. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want to be known. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also want to be known as a, as a brother. As, as like a good brother for you. So now and then, so... Hi, Shavona, all the way from Lansing, Michigan. Hi, Vovo, how's it, man? Paparazzi. I see you. I see you, Vona. Angelique Carlson says, Hi, Prophet. Hi, Angelique. Thank you, Shavona, once again. Just thanks again for always tuning in to Listen, our... I want to promote Shavona's... Yeah, yeah, just promote her. Chevy, uh, Chevy's got this beautiful business called Paparazzi. Ne? And she sells all these, like your, your, the stuff that you like, these things and earrings, earrings and whatever. Please buy Shavona's paparazzi in stuff. In Lansing, Michigan, <laughs> USA. No, For those that's talk. that's there, go to go to her Facebook page. Let's promote her quickly. <laughs> this is not sponsored, by the way. No, just, no, no, no. You don't understand not, what we're trying to do. I'm no, trying to I get need, a sponsor. I, I, need to, I need to put the disclaimer that it's not sponsored. But anyway, hello, Brenda. Hello, Sister Lynette. Hi, guys. Um, um, Pastor Yuren, he says you're a lover. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, I didn't with that voice because I feel like you just yeah you didn't you wrote it like that a lover I'm a lover not a fighter <laughs> hello Ruth and hi Marcus guys. and John hi guys hi, hi guys. guys how you doing all the way from Simon's town explain to people who you are in my life because some oh, people think you're my wife okay. just tell them who you are I'm not his wife yes I do not want to be his wife <laughs> I'm his younger sister I say he always says I'm his baby sister. Yeah. But I don't wear um, diapers anymore. She's my so little I'm, sister. I'm his younger sister. And um, we have a great working relationship and, uh, and an awesome sibling relationship as well. Yes, we, yes, we, yes. Let's, let's just give a... We have five kids. Yes. I'm the youngest of the girls. Yes. You all know Pastor Blanche. Everybody loves her. Pastor Blanche. One of these days she will be on the program. Please just send a message. Not this program. Not this program. But send a comment. Comment and say, we want Sister Blanche. Hashtag Blanche come on. Come on, do it right now. Hashtag right Blanche now. come on. Do it right now. She is camera shy, but we're going to push her through this thing. Okay. Okay. It's your program. Anyway, it's my program. So he said, let's let, just tell us more about how you came about Remnant Arise. What was the what was your initial um, motivation for this program? Yeah, I need to give honor and an old due to my spiritual father, Apostle Nikki van der Westeisen, uh, 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 the father of the of the of the Supernatural Ministries Incorporated um, Network. He started to minister a word called the Remnant. I think it was a year or two ago, plus minus. And that remnant, uh, remnant word started to resonate with me. I started to, 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 to learn more about it. I started to, 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 to live, to start to live it more. And the revelation hit my spirit, you understand, regarding the remnant. And what happened was this. As that revelation hit me, the Lord said to me one day, when I was waking up in the morning, early in the morning, like 2 o'clock. They know me. I don't sleep. And what happened was, the Lord said to That's me... That's why I can't be his wife. <laughs> the Lord said to me, <laughs> it's time for the remnant to arise. It's time for the remnant to arise. It's time for those people... Can I just go a little bit further? Your program today. It's time for the people that are survivors. It's time for the people that are... People that are... Some of you, you've gone through some stuff. You've experienced life. You, 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 you have got the t-shirt to show... You have got the the, 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 the the scars to show. You've got you've went through life. Life has come for you, came for you. And God said to me, and my spiritual father gave this uh, explanation of what is the remnant. He said the remnant is a, is a survivor. If you survive something in your life, you are the remnant. If you've gone through some stuff, you are the remnant. And he also said that the remnant is a reminder. So if you have, if things have happened and you are the only one remaining in that business, you are the only one, you are keeping on, you are the remnant. And then the last one that I love so much, because I love the supernatural, that the remnant is a supernatural breed of people. That 
that means this remnant is above the natural. Everything that is natural is trying to contain you, trying to control you, trying to destroy you. It cannot destroy you because you are part of the remnant. Hallelujah. Hey, that is a, was a mouth, mouthful. So now everybody over there can understand where this program came about. We're in our last, we are in our, the, the, the ending of our first season. And it's been awesome. We had some Amen. awesome people. <clears throat> Yes, on the program but the people that was on the program was not just people that you called up because you don't know them yes. um, can you tell me first of all let's start with season 1 episode 1 mm. Friday afternoon at 1 o'clock yes I remember that was that. 3 o'clock was it 3 o'clock yeah 3 o'clock with Pastor B Pastor Branham Pastor Branham Wow, it was amazing. Pastor Brenham from all the way from Kempton Park, Kempton Park in Johannesburg. So let, us, let me know about, okay, we had Pastor Brenham, then we had Pastor Urian. Yay, the post. <laughs> from Lichtenberg. My friend. Then we had Vatos. Nikki Jr. of NBC, NBCFC, yes. Parksburg, and Fabian Jewett from, Plan Pastor Fabian Jewett from Planet Shakers, yeah. Cape Town. He's not going to worry if you say even Fabian, okay. <laughs> if you even say Fabu. Yeah. Okay, wh why are we there? Let's just promote these products okay, also. Okay, we're promoting. Yeah. Please go and support our brother. He yeah. has a clothing line called Fabu. Fabu. Yes, caps and stuff. Caps and hats. Please go there. So we had a youth program with um, Pastor Fabian Jewett and Nikki Jr. Uh -huh. And then we had, hey, our friend Pastor Michael. Hey, Baba. That was a beautiful We program. had a beautiful program with Pastor Michael. So just tell the viewers and, and me myself. Yes. The relationship that you've had with them. Yes. And how it came about that you wanted them to be part of this program. Uh, all of the individuals that is part of that was part of the lineup for the first season of Remnant Arise are friends of mine. Mm -hmm. They are not just people that I that they're not what just acquaintances, but they are friends. Rap, rap, I, I, I rap, have rap, relationships rap, with them. And this is what, what what has happened right now. I felt like they have voices that needs to be heard. They have they have words, they have voices that needs to be heard. They have not just voices that needs to be heard, but they also have a message that needs to be heard all over the world. And this is what the Lord said to me. He said to me, get your friends, which are the remnant, mm -hmm. get them to come and speak on this program to let the remnant arise. And so the first program was, was, was Pastor B, Pastor Branham. Uh, I wanted to speak to him because he's got a very clear revelation on sonship, you know, on fatherhood and sonship. And he came in and he just put that thing down. The second, uh, the second program was Pastor Yurian. Pastor Yuri. Wow, he's just my bra. <laughs> Pastor, you you are my friend. You are my you are my vatos locos. You are blood in blood out. So I wanted to connect with him and I wanted to show people uh, uh, my friendship, man, my friendship with him. And we were speaking about all sorts of things. And I think that was one of the best programs that we had. And then we had that program with Pastor Fabian and Pastor and, and Nikki Jr. And that program was designed to show the world that the church is young, the church is hip, and the happening. church is happening, and the church is lit, the church is what cool, whatever you might call it. But also, those men of God, they have voices. They are not just echoes, but they can speak the word of God very strongly. And they gave directives and direct lines, etc. And then it was the program with my friend, Pastor Michael David, Michael Nkomo. Chimani! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it was a beautiful program. And you know what? If you if you really want us, there's some extra uh, material I bring that he sent me, uh, some stuff that he recorded. If you want us to play that uh, uh, somewhere in the in in the time, I don't know how we're gonna do that, but put it on the as, as a video. I want you to to, to write there. Just write in the comments that you want to see the extra footage, like the behind the scenes and and stuff that we have. It's just a video of where Pastor Michael is doing what he was born Worship. to do. What he, he's doing, what he's best at. Prophet is best and at doing word. 
he preaches and, and, and prophesies and prophesies that's what God has given him pastor michael he is just an amazing worshiper he his name just is what it is wow so just drop us a comment and tell us that you want um um the footage and we'll put it on on your demand and you will just enjoy the presence of god when you listen to pastor michael yeah. prophet speak a little bit uh, we've seen videos of you and, and little shy little shy is guys if you don't know shallow is the brightest little child that you've ever we've, we're getting to know the prophet behind the, the 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 man behind the prophet so speak a little bit about the miracle that god has given unto you. a walking one by the way wow. if you've never seen a walking miracle look on prophet's profile i want to play some other music and you will and you will see my darling <laughs> She calls her dad her darling. Wow. So just You know, I really want him to cry right <clears throat> now because just speak on that little person that has stolen your other piece of your heart. Wow. It was me and my wife is about uh, it's about 10 years married right now, plus minus 10 years. And uh for these 10 years for the first half of the 10 years we were very focused on our careers very focused on what we wanted to do with our lives me ministry and business and she in her in her career as a health practitioner and so she was studying and i was doing i was recording a cd i was doing all kinds of stuff and then at the middle of this marriage period closer to to the end of the first 5 years we decided that now it's the time to have a baby and uh we tried but nothing happened <laughs> and then we decided okay cool we need to go and figure out what's wrong here so we went to the doctors and this is what happened uh she went first and the doctor said there's nothing wrong with her and so the doctor said that I need to come I need to come for a what you call it again for a Test. for tests and stuff so i went and this is what happened the doctors told me your wife is all good but you are the problem and i am a lion so i couldn't understand god you allow me to pray for people to get healed you allowed me to pray for people to get babies but here i am and i can't get a baby because the doctors we went to urologists we went to gynecologists we went to all the urologists all the urologists <laughs> and every time when we got there the last doctor it was such a oh my god it was such a situation because the lot the last doctor was a urologist and i'm going to just let the mask go a little bit let the mask go a little bit He was a urologist and what happened was this urologist did a very intrusive <laughs> uh test on me. At the end of that test he called us and he said to us he said to my wife this is what he said to my wife he said to her Mrs. Yuste the only way for you to ever get a child from this man is to adopt that thing broke me in two that even i wanted to leave ministry and so i want you to understand today for me to speak very openly about this thing is 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 difficult but i feel like i'm i'm blessing somebody i feel like i'm i'm blessing somebody that they are struggling to get a child i'm blessing somebody that is struggling to get a to get something you know it's not just a child but some of you have been struggling for years to get your business running mm-hmm. some of them have been struggling for years to get their ministry up and running and it feels like they are barren i agree it feels like and you know you know what is barrenness barrenness is when you when 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 you do everything but it doesn't work you do all the right things but there's just something more than what you can uh, uh, uh there's something wrong and you can't figure it out although you're doing the right thing if you're watching us i know there's some people watching us right now i'm using this opportunity to Amen. to minister to to them 
So, so it took me a while to get to grips with the fact that I'm not going to get babies. And this is what happened. And I don't want to be too long. This is what you happened. Can, you can flow. This is this is gonna. This is what testimony does. It saves other people's lives, and it gives you the courage to go on even further. If you struggled with the same issue, whether it might have been a child, or barrenness in your finances, or barrenness in the fact that divorce divorce is happening, I believe that this testimony is is going beyond borders of just barrenness in the womb. And it, it takes um, a life where you got your testimony is going to save someone's life. Yes. Um, so you, you flow, flow with us. Yes. So what happened was there comes a time in everybody's life where you go through some stuff and it doesn't work and you just lock it up in a room. Have you been there, Avery? Yes. You, you, you've tried everything and this thing doesn't work and you can't face the fact that you're going to get that rejection. I, I, and you, you you know some of you you've been through so many relationships and every time it ends up that your heart is broken <clears throat> and then at the end of the day you just decide to be alone and you're not gonna go there anymore so it's like locking this thing up in a room and like taking the key and putting it somewhere that nobody knows not even only you know that is what happened with me I went through a moment where I where I was going where I felt like I'm not going to go through these things again. So I decided to lock this whole scenario up in a proverbial room. Put it away. Whenever somebody would want to come and speak about babies or want to speak about those kind of things, I would never go into an aisle in, the, in, a, in, in a, baby, uh, a baby aisle. I would, I, would, I would never go into baby clothes or, you know, those. I, I would never do that because it was locked up. Because it was hurting so much. So yeah. So what happened was the following. One day, the Lord, I was crying before God in my church, in my office. And I said, God, how can this be? How can this be? And he didn't answer me. And suddenly, I pray. Door slammed close of my of my office. I was alone in the room. It was pitch black because it was it was at night time and the door shut shut close. And then my Bible opened whoop, at the by itself. By itself, no word of a lie, no word of a lie. Wow. The door shut close. Bah! The, the Bible opened whoop, and the Lord said read and it was at that specific place and this is what the scripture says Abraham Eliezer shall not be your heir now if you know the scripture you know that Abraham had a men servant in his house and because he could not get babies from his wife he was contemplating to give everything to Eliezer his, his adopted son in his house and God promised me that day like I'm promising you today in the name of Jesus yes. Eliezer will not be your heir mm. and God said to me I need to be strong and from that day onwards my faith got a boost again wow. and therefore if you if you look at all of our stuff we we very much about faith we we call ourselves faith nivos we love the supernatural because this is all that we have i feel like crying right now people think people think this or that or the other but this is what it's all about if 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 you have to come in our lives and you will experience only this these people these people they believe god and I had to believe God. I had to believe God beyond the doctor's appointments. I had to believe God to the place where I, where, 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 where I, the door was still closed. I didn't went, went, ventured into it. I never asked my wife, are you pregnant? After we had an intimate time. I never. Until this one time. We were, I'm going to jump it because it's going to be too long right now. I don't know who's watching. So, I have no 
idea who's watching, but whatever. Yeah, we, we just we just testifying yeah. Uh, 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 where's Kunika? I wanted to bring some water for me right now. So, so this is what happened. The whole scenario shifted. I was doing a a, a conference, a prophetic conference, over this period. It's weird. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a few years back, the same period, I was doing a conference at a church, at a Pentecostal church. The conference was packed. People came. Everybody was there. It was a powerful conference. It was glorious. At the end of the conference, my wife came to me. My wife said to me, she feels very sick. I said, Jesus, this is the devil. The devil is attacking me. Mm. It's because I was on the mountain. Am I too long, Abri? Can I continue? No, you, you, you need to. You, there's one thing that that we should understand. There's certain things that we cannot stop because it, it's going to save someone else's life. It's going to save their salvation. It's going to give them even deliverance from yes. certain things that they, like you said, there's doors that people that you as a as an individual you close because you never want to go and step into that room again. And um, maybe this is the day that that he decided to open the door and that's why he's sharing everything and he's taking off the the mask and and being real with you and we just want i'm as his me as his sister i've never heard this testimony this deep and it echoes a sister <laughs> but um you should go prophet you yeah. should you should flow so what happened was this after the conference my wife called me my wife said to me baby i feel very sick my head is dizzy, what, 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 what. And I felt like the enemy is attacking what we were doing right now. And so I said to her, okay, cool. You're not going to go to work the next day because it was the Sunday. And I said to her, you're not going to go to work the next day. I'm going to take you to the doctor. My yellow frau means a yellow flippin' scallum. So she said to me, before you take me to the doctor, go and buy pregnancy test. I said, hey, hey, is it done? Is it done? <laughs> that for another guy, it would have been easy. <laughs> Don't, do you want some water, Ibri? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Kunika, no, bring some water fine, for Ibri. I'm fine. I'm fine. You can go. You can go. <laughs> so this is what happened. Um, for another guy to go and buy a pregnancy test was normal. But for me, a pregnancy test was the door, the key, the key of that closed door. Because you must understand, I locked it up. I don't want to get rejected. I don't want to get that again. So I decided, all right, I'm going to go. I didn't even know how a pregnancy test looked. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, help me. I went to go and buy because I was so nervous. I was literally shaking in the aisle and clicks, shaking in the aisle. And I was looking and I bought just two random tests. Just took it and I was getting in the car driving back. I'm worried about my wife. And so I came back home and I gave her the test. And I said to her, I'm going to go and wait in the other room. Don't come and tell me nothing. Oh, Jesus. She went into the toilet, into the bathroom. <coughs> And this is what happened. When she came out, I was sitting with my earphones on my ears, listening to some worship music. And um, she said to me, she, 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 she touched me on my shoulder like this and said to me, I want to speak to you. And I could see in her face something was not on. And she said to me, now she's a health practitioner. She's a, she's a professional nurse. And this is what she said. She said, I did the test and according to the test we have a baby I looked on her face and said to her in Afrikaans don't play with me and she started to cry and I started to cry we went on our knees and she showed me the test went into our room you want to say something? no, no I'm saying wow she showed me the test and I said to her this can't be you know, it's easy for a person to preach about the supernatural. 
but you will only know if it works if you've been there. Mm. I've been there. I needed a miracle. If when I preach about this thing and I'm very close to tears, I keep I'm keeping it in. I want to tell you, and I don't even know who cares who's watching right now. But I want to tell you, I know how it feels to stand at a place of impossibility. Yes. I know how it feels to stand at a place where it can it can only be God. That day when my wife came and my wife said to me, "Baby, we are pregnant." I couldn't believe it. I sat down and then I screamed. I said, "This can't be. Don't play with me." I, remember, I locked it in the room. Now you want me to get this room open again? I want to get excited again. I'm hopeful again, etc. Yes. And she said, "Look at this. God gave us." And isn't isn't it ironic that um, if you if you listen to Prophet a few minutes ago, he said, "We do this by faith. This is faith and faith and all of this." And then. When he struggled with something and God provided in that something that he struggled for, he still did not. Yes. He his human nature couldn't grasp the fact that. Wow. I, but the doctor said uh, yes. that we are not, we are, we we can't have children, and because he asked his wife, "Why are you lying to me?" Yes. Yes. And it's 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 just shows you that. Our human nature can get even to the great, the best, biggest men of God. It can take you so much, especially when you've had such instances and situations, and it takes yes. you just like that, and then you doubt, even if it's just a quick little doubt, a small little doubt. But that doubt creeps in and say, "But this can't be because this and that happened." And I just find it very ironic that you were in a place where you fully believed God. And then when it happened to you and he provided, you thought, but this can't be. But then the man of God in you had to snap you back out of it again. Yes. And then yes. Kapwa, Shiloh was there. Yes. So, so, so to continue what we are left, you guys, is I couldn't believe it because it was impossible. Mm. To your eyes. To everything that I've seen, doctor said I can't. Doctor, exactly was, to the natural person. Let me tell you what happened uh, prior to this whole entire thing. When, when when the doctor said the only way for you to get a baby was to go and have in IVF, IVF. in vitro, and so that day we went. Uh, prior to all this entire thing, we went to the in vitro clinic and we met this old Jewish doctor and he showed me this little Torah that he had, and he said to me. Guys, you're gonna come now, yeah. But even if the maker of the creator doesn't allow you to have this thing, you're not gonna have it. And both of us looked at each other. And we went down in our car and we said, "This is Haiga. This is this is not this is not of God. this is not God. This is not what we want from. If God wants us to have a child, He's gonna have a He's gonna give us a child." This morning, I spoke to my sister, my other sister Blanche, and I said to her, "The reason why." I can believe for anything is because the moment when I look at my child, I see the manifestation yes. of God's work at hand. I want to say to, I don't want to preach today because I feel like if I'm going to preach, I'm going to cry. But I want to say to you, God can do it, man. Amen. He can do it again. He can do it again. And again and again. It is an impossibility right now. But God can do it, and He can do it again. I want you to just take the the health of the stream, if there's sound whatsoever, before we go further. Um, and and this is the position that God said to me. He said to me, "I can do it for you." I had to believe. I had to trust Him. So, long story short. Long story short. You have my darling. I have. I have. <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor. And I, my wife is crying. I'm crying, and we have this little. We still have that first the taste. Taste. I don't know where she put it. I would have taken it and showed you. We still have that taste. Long story short, the whole pregnancy as she was walking, we prayed. This is what the Lord taught us that season. When I give you something, 
don't stop believing and praying Amen. and protecting it. Because that is the problem that we have. When God has released a prophetic word or there's a blessing in your life, you are so excited you stop to pray. But we kept on praying. We didn't allow anybody to touch my wife's stomach. We didn't allow anybody just to pray on it. We didn't go to any just anybody. Mm. We, 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 you, they, they remember it was like that season. It was like a Moses in the basket moment. You know, when Moses was put in that basket, covered up with, with, with tar, put in that river, he was protected. It was a moment where Jesus was taken to Egypt. You need to understand the prophetic word of you needs protection, needs, needs season and a moment to grow before you can release it. Before, Don't just say to anybody, I have got a baby or I'm going to do this business. No understand not everybody is happy for you amen and so long story short on the 24th of january 2017 2017 we got at two o'clock the afternoon i can still remember shiloh jamie Huster was, was born. born my little shiloh Yay. my darling was born and I want to say to everybody today, God can do it. You need to believe it. God can do it. Let nobody tell you God can't do it. He can do it. He's able, He's willing to do it for you. Amen. Guys, did you receive that? Are you receiving that? Thank you, Prophet, for, for just sharing your beautiful testimony with everybody online and with myself and we have a beautiful little feisty 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 oh, Jesus she's feisty and she's smart and she's cute and she's literally the best thing that ever happened to us as a family and even more so um prophet and his wife man. who says five pizza, but it's fine <laughs> but it's fine we enjoy her I love her so much um so we just want to say thank you for your beautiful testimony. I want you guys to send in your prayer request right now because I feel like this is the opportune time yes. and moment for the blessing of God to move in your lives. So send us send us a, a request, send us a comment. Just say pray with me. Yes. Just say pray with me for whatever lack is in your life, whatever infirmity is in your life, whatever sickness that you are dealing with. And we will pray with you today that God can come and intervene and be just present in your life and whatever situation you are with um, I'm struggling with, mm -hmm. that the faith that you lost Amen. that God will help you through to just pick it up again and just be faith, have faith in Him and be faithful to what he is going to do in your life so just now just send in your prayer request just send in that we should pray with you today and yes. and prophet is going to pray we're going to pray before we end this program so that god can touch and move and deliver and bring salvation and healing yes. from every situation that you even if it's small to 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 the to the next person we don't know what struggles you have. Yes. Just send in your request. We will pray with you. We will speak life into every situation. We will speak life into every dead situation. Mm -hmm. We will resurrect the things that yeah. the enemy has stolen and killed. Amen. And he has buried. Yes. And we will open those doors that you've shut yes. with you by prayer. So send in your prayer request the, and we will uh, pray with you. The acronym for prayer is is the following is to have um, an acronym for prayer is this is to have is to the is to pray until something happens mm -hmm. that's an acronym for prayer and i want you to to understand that without prayer nothing nothing can happen yes we had to pray we went into seasons and into long periods of prayer to receive the blessing 
so right now before we're going to have to go I'm going to just release a word of prayer over your life Amen. Father in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus I pray I'm going to stand here come let's stand here uh, let's stand in front of them I'm going to pray right now in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus I release my hands I release Hallelujah. the blessing of the Lord over every individual in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray right now Hallelujah. that everybody that is watching us live shall receive what you have in store for them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Lord as we're going to end this broadcast right now I believe God that you're going to touch their lives I believe God that you're going to give them the blessings the you're going to break Jesus. the barrenness the Hallelujah. Lord says I must pray and I must say break the barrenness right Jesus. on the comments break, break the, the barrenness. barrenness I believe God is going to break the barrenness over your life over your family, over your finances, Hallelujah. over your businesses, in the name oh, of Jesus. Jesus Christ, over your love Hallelujah. life, He's going to break the barrenness right now in Jesus', Jesus name. mighty name. Father, I thank you for what you're going to do for us in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Thank you, family, for being a part of our season finale of Remnant Arise. And I think we did well, Prophet. Hallelujah. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you, Pastor Brenham. Thank you, Pastor Urian. Thank you, Nikki Jr., Pastor Fabian Jewett, and, and Pastor Michael, Michael for being a Thank part you. of our first season of Raymond yes. Arise. We are going to go bigger and better for our second season. Hallelujah. Um, watch our Facebook pages. Yes. Watch Prophet's Facebook page. Watch Spirit Life Ministry Saldana's Facebook page. And you will see all updates on what's going to happen in our second season yes. of Raymond Arise. Just know, Jesus is alive. Thank you so much for connecting with us. I love you. This is the finale. So next week, next week Friday, we will not be on again. But we will, we will be busy getting some new content. We love you. We appreciate you. Jesus is, is alive. alive.